Friends, hello again. Very quickly, uh, let's discuss the transformation I used in a paper on violence and elsewhere uh, developed by uh, Professore Cirillo and myself to deal with uh, power laws that are not really power laws. So, say X lives in LH. There's a lower bound, there's an upper bound, okay? So you can have a power law. It can be very fat tail. H can be very far away. Still, it's not technically a power law. There is a more rigorous way to do it, to take Y in the same lower bound and infinity, okay? And Y equals a function of x. What is interesting is that the parameters, if you, you can fit the power law here, if, of course, it was violence that matched the power law, fit the power law here, then whatever parameter will apply to that synthetic distribution derived from the power law to x and um, with a compact support. Let me, so the function we use is a function that does this. Equals low minus high log of log any log you use, uh, any base h minus x over h minus l. And what does it do? Let's take the population of the world, say 7 billion. Up to about 3 billion, it will stick to the population. And then it will go to infinity. And h is going to be infinity. OK. Uh, at l, that's the function. This is the function. OK. And L is going to be L. And for those familiar with the log normal distribution, we're doing something quite similar. In finance, say X stock price less than zero uh, infinity. The log return minus infinity, infinity. By the way, log transformation. Okay. This is the arithmetic return. This is the, the, the logarithmic return. And so as x follows a normal distribution, mu sigma, y will follow a log normal distribution, mu sigma, but with a different interpretation. This has, this is the mean for x. It will not be the mean for y. Mu will not be the mean for y. This will be the mean for y. It's going to be something like e uh, mu plus, I think, 1 half of sigma squared. OK? That's going to be the mean. And this will be the variance. And this will not be the variance. The variance will be similarly some kind of exponential function. With a uh, with a shift. So the thing we did is we fit the power law to y, and it, it was a power law. It's pretty much like x except for very large values. So we could do all the analytics we wanted, and there was a mapping one to one transformation between the parameters of one or the other. And of course, there's something you know called distribution of x resembles a power law, you know, for uh, not large, but not up to large, but not very large values, and, but, but has uh, uh, nice properties because you can have, uh, in our case, X has a finite mean, but Y here, in our case, has an infinite mean. 
or an undefined mean. So it has an infinite variance. X has all the moments. <laughs> so we can talk about the mean of something. This is uh, the, the, the a summary of what we did with that notion of dual distribution. You have a distribution, it has its dual in a different uh, support, with different support, and you can map one-to-one -one under some uh, conditions, I think, uh, that are met in this case. Uh, I don't remember the condition, but, but, but we, we looked at all the conditions that allow such a transformation and for us to port variable from one to the other. Thank you very much and have a great day.